Welcome back and happy Tuesday. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's talk weather. In the last 24 hours, we have dropped in terms of temperatures earlier while we were feeling in those upper 60s in Grand Junction. But yesterday, we were actually hitting those 80s. So we have dropped compared to what we were feeling around that 6 p.m. hour yesterday, a full 18 degrees in Grand Junction, a whole 19 degrees in Montrose. We were still in those upper 70s around this hour, but we are now down in those low 60s for the cool down tonight, but tomorrow we are returning towards those normals towards those seasonal averages in the upper 70s for Grand Junction and kind of low to mid 70s for Montrose. We do have some lingering showers still in those high regions tonight, and we might see some kind of later work week showers through those same northern mountain regions on maybe Wednesday and Thursday, but sunny skies are returning locally, maybe some afternoon cloud coverage towards the end of the work week. So our state satellite and radar right now does have some some active weather moving on through again through those central mountains, Leadville, Vale Pass, Glenwood Canyon, a little bit of some snowfall hitting the ground. Mind you, it's going to be very, very minimal accumulation, more so on those kind of well east side of the slopes. And our future cast does show that we still again see that active weather moving on through short lived, pushing on out by the late night hours of tonight. As we wake up tomorrow, clear skies, lots of sunshine. We'll continue to see that at least through the valleys on Wednesday afternoon noon. Those northern mountains are looking at some cloud coverage on Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night. Then as we kind of look into well Thursday, same trend. We're waking up with sunny skies, then maybe some clouds rolling on in Thursday afternoon. Slight chance for those showers through the central and northern mountains pushing on out by the time we look into Friday. And Friday is also going to continue with at least some higher elevation clouds through the valleys. We'll continue to see that before we get a little bit of a clearing on Saturday. And speaking of a clearing here outside on America's Mattress Live Tower Camp, we do have some blue skies that moved on in as those kind of eerie looking clouds pushed out within just about the last hour and a half. And actually, in terms of those wind gusts with those kind of moving clouds, we did have some top wind gusts a little bit elevated today. But as we look at our wind cast, those are calming down and we're just kind of leaving with some breezy skies less than 20 miles an hour for the entire western slope as we kind of continue throughout the rest of this work week. And I do want to talk about that temperature trend I mentioned we're jumping up closer to those seasonal averages, upper 70s for the rest of the work week, even as we look towards the weekend. Absolutely beautiful Memorial Day on Monday, looking to be in the 80s even. Now earlier today, those afternoon highs, like I mentioned on that cool side of things down in the 60s, we'll notice currently we're dropping even cooler already on that cool down mid 50s through Montrose and in our almanac on both sides of things while well, we were just cooler than what we're typically used to last night. 48 this afternoon shy by about a full 12 degrees in terms of the afternoon high. But again, like I mentioned, cooler night tonight. 40s, 30s, then tomorrow we're increasing. We're seeing those upper 70s and uh, well, even low 70s as we look towards some of those high regions. So that's going to continue to be the trend. Upper 70s. Saturday started Juco. Beautiful day, 79 degree afternoon highs. Monday, Memorial Day, like I mentioned, 80s. Super nice, lots of sunshine. In Montrose, we're not very far behind. 72 tomorrow. Started Juco, 73 on Saturday. And then again, Monday, very, very.